Dinosaur brushes from graphicextras.com can be used in many ways in Photoshop, CS5, as well as other versions of Photoshop and Elements. But I'm just going to quickly show you the use of the brushes with the 3D tools that come with Photoshop Extended. Right, just going to go to the brushes. Just going to quickly select the brush, brush tool, set the color to black, and then you will see a selection of brushes. Here they're all dinosaur brushes different sizes, all between basically 400 by 400 to 500 by 500. Same approach can be used for other brushes, ABR files. To load them, just use the load brushes command here, or the file open command. Right, just going to go to the 3D menu, new shape from layer, and there's cube. Just going to use the cube option so it's just crazy cube now of course you've got graphicextra.com in there because that was on the layer before if there was nothing on the layer it would actually have just been a blank just layer there anyway just going to resize that slightly a brush to make it a bit smaller now could just just click there rotate the brush the cube just click there now another way to do it is actually by clicking on over here just going to go and quickly show you one of those just so double click on that you'll go through to and you'll get a PSB PSB file created I'm just going to quickly change the dinosaur so I'm just going to select another dinosaur I'm just going to create another one now if I go back just rotate I just select another one of the faces of the cube double click on that and select another dinosaur now just quickly change the color so, I, so maybe a red dinosaur and now I'm just going to go back to the that's it the cube and I'm just going to rotate the cube and there's another surface that I haven't touched and I'm just going to actually make it another one I'm just going to make it a slightly bigger dinosaur And then I'm just going to rotate it again. And there's another surface. So there's all these surfaces, obviously six for a cube. And there's some of the, there's the, the ones I actually created using the uh, PSB. Now, of course, the PSB files only open if you just go and do them here. But uh, obviously they're uh, internally, the PSB file is uh, stored. It's uh, not accessible here, but they're actually accessible here. So if you actually go and just change something here I'm just going to go there and say maybe you want to blur the dinosaur and I'll just quickly do a Gaussian blur just quickly and then go back to the and you'll see the actual effect there so you've got a slightly blurred dinosaur now you just rotate the, the surface again the surfaces and then you can just see another one I'm just going to quickly paint another dinosaur That's just dinosaur there. Right, so you've got a dinosaur cube, which you can, of course, you could have used uh, like one, two, three if you want to use them for dice or something, but uh, it's basically the brushes can be used for thousands of different uh, things. Great. Of course, there's other things in the 3D as well. There's actually, I'm just going to quickly go back to that, flatten the image, flatten layers. Yep, just want to get rid of that. So it's all down to the thing. And then the 3D, new shape. And there are other designs like cone, cube, cube wrap cylinder donut hat and those sorts of things so you can just create many different designs as well as there's also other new mesh and also these features right